Okay, well, and with that, um, we are going to be moving on towards our discussion, which is going to be uh, a DTL from Jeddah, which is a direct telephone line connection. We are going to be speaking on the lines of the program which is held in Jeddah for the early detection of the cervix cancer, which is a cancer within the females. Now, we are actually going to be speaking to Dr. Khalid uh, Seif, the supervisor of women's tumors, chair and faculty of medicine, and the hospital of King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah. We are going to be speaking to him on the lines of cervical cancer as a disease, which has really taken the world of uh, females by storm. So with this, we are going to be welcoming Dr. Khalid Seif to the program. So Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Khalid, can you hear us? Yes, wa alaikum salam, uh, good morning. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the second channel of Saudi Arabia uh, for inviting me to talk about this uh, important uh, uh, disease uh, that creates a lot of challenge and cause uh, major uh, public uh, health problem for women. Most definitely. And Dr. Khalid, we definitely understand the fact that uh, cervical cancer is not only life-threatening, but it uh, actually uh, has its effect on uh, the quality of the life of the female as well. So uh, if you can possibly describe to us what cervical cancer really is and its true meaning for perhaps some of our viewers who do not really are, who are not really familiar with this uh, type of cancer. So if you can just uh, elaborate on the very uh, disease. Okay, uh, the, uh, the, cer the vagal cancer is uh, uh, like, or the cervix, let me explain the cervix. The cervix is the lower part of the uterus. And um, uh, the, the problem that happen in the, the womb, like the body of the uterus is totally different from the, uh, from the cervix itself. Um, a cervix is li as li organs like uh, any other organs it has full of cells and uh, when these cells um, uh, grow in an abnormal way uh, a mass or a lump form in the cervix and that's how cancer uh, happen in the cervix indeed dr khalid um, dr khalid uh, 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 yes dr khalid how is it that we can perhaps uh, spread more awareness about this particular kind of a cancer because we get to see that there has been a lot done in terms of raising more awareness about breast cancer how is it that we can uh, create better awareness about cervical cancer and especially its early detection sorry can you repeat the question i was just having problem with uh, with the mic Indeed. Uh, Dr. Khaled, what I'm asking you is about uh, cervical cancer in terms of this particular kind of a female cancer. How is it that we can actually spread more awareness about it so that we would be able to get towards uh, the path of early detection for most of the females? Because we get to see in Jada and the whole kingdom of Saudi Arabia, there has been a lot done in order to raise more awareness about breast cancer. How is it that we can get a little bit more awareness when it comes to cervical cancer? Okay, cervical cancer considered to be uh, uh, a major uh, cancer in women in developing country, in a country where there is no screening uh, program. Okay, luckily in Saudi Arabia we don't. Ha it's not as common as uh, in, in Africa or in the Western regions for a lot of reasons. Um, but however, we uh, reviewing the National Cancer Registry, we realize that cervical cancer is increasing over years. And there is a study that uh, uh, we did in Saudi Arabia. We found that if we don't an inter if we don't do an intervention or prevention method for this disease, the number of cervical cancer new cases or new patients uh, will be treble in years to come. Uh, the good thing about cervical cancer, it is preventable disease. Because right now we know that we, and understand the, the etiology or the causative uh, factors that cause cervical cancer, which is uh, indeed the human papilloma virus. Right. Now and with this by screening uh, for, the, for this virus, or the, when the virus changes the cells, 
by simple test and then we treat it right away, we can prevent the cancer from happening or starting even. That's why in, uh, uh, the, in, the, in, the whole, in, in most of the Western regions, uh, they start a national cervical cancer screening program. And they, it's, it was effective, and the study showed it is effective to reduce the number of this cervical cancer world, worldwide. Right. Now, with this, Dr. Khalid, we would also like for you to be perhaps giving a, a public awareness message in order uh, to really increase the level of awareness of all of our public who's actually watching you right now, in order for them to be having, like, perhaps a better understanding of what is it that they should be doing once uh, a family or a friend or a member is actually diagnosed with it. Perhaps also increasing the level of awareness because everybody's focus on women's cancer has only been on breast cancer. So how is it that perhaps you would like to uh, give a message to all of our viewers who are watching you right now? Okay. I mean, as you said, breast cancer is, is the most common cancer in women. But we, we, we don't want the cervical cancer to increase, okay? And I have to tell you, like, cervical cancer is, is not hereditary. It does not run in family, okay? But uh, we, we want to tell people that um, they have to be aware that there is method of prevention. They have to be aware that there is um, symptoms that if they found it like bleeding after intercourse or abnormal vaginal discharge, they have to go and seek medical advice. They, don't, uh, they should not wait long time. We don't want to see cancer when it's in advanced stage, when it's very difficult to treat. We want to see w uh, women, uh, if it happened that they did not go for the screening test or the screening program, to come early and treat them. And uh, for, uh, 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 the most important thing is, is the prevention, is to prevent this virus from getting into the, uh, their body and, and as well as pre prevent the cells from uh, changes from uh, abnormal cells because it takes years to develop into cancer. We want to catch those women in this early pre-cancer stage and diagnose them and give them very simple treatment like a laser treatment and then the cancer will go away. Most definitely. And with this, uh, Dr. Khalid, we would really like to thank you for joining us uh, and trying to raise awareness alongside Good Morning KSA in order to really educate the people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia a little bit more on the issue of uh, cervical cancer. We would really, really like to extend uh, our warmest uh, greetings to you, and we really hope that you're going to be having a wonderful day ahead of you, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. I have to mention that we start uh, in Jeddah uh, a national program for cervical cancer. Actually, we call it Jeddah Cervical Cancer Screening Program. And that we try to recruit those women who is eligible for screening from the age of 30 to 65 when they are married for the last th three years. And we want to make sure that they get the test done and we treat them in the same center and they can register online for that in uh, www.jcsp.sa.com indeed can you please uh, quickly uh, repeat that website address dr khalid it's uh, www.jcsp.sa.com and they can open their website, they can have a lot of information about, about our program, uh, the, uh, who should be registered, and then there is uh, a place where they can click and uh, they can register and take an appointment through uh, online. And then we call them and then we tell them where to come and we, we, we make sure that they receive the test and they make sure that they, they, once the test result is back, we tell them about the result and if there is anything we uh, need to be done, we treat them, and then they stay registered in the program for throughout their life. The program is sponsored by the scientific share of Professor Abdullah Hussain Basalama for gynecological cancer at King Abdelaziz University, and it's free for every woman. Indeed, and with this, uh, Dr. Khalid, Seat, we'd like to thank you so much for joining us in today's edition of Good Morning KSA. Dr. Khalid Seat is a supervisor of Women's Tumors Chair in the Faculty of Medicine and Hospital of King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah. Thank you for being with us.
Thank and with this, once again, for all the ladies who are watching us, uh, www.jcsp.sa is the website where you can actually go and register yourselves, uh, especially if you are above the age of 30 and that you've been married for a couple of years. It is worth going in for a quick checkup. But anyways, on this note, stay tuned to Good Morning KSA as we're going to be getting back on our cultural exchange program where we are in the beautiful country of Mexico for the day. Stay tuned.